When it comes to fitness, one thing we hear a lot about is the need for regular exercise. But we also hear a lot about the importance of staying hydrated when we work out. Well, that's because exercise supposedly causes dehydration, which can be very bad for us. Well, today we have a second opinion on that. It's from Dr. Howard Murad. He's an expert on cellular hydration, the ability of our cells to hold water. That's an essential ingredient in keeping us young. I need my water. <laughs> yeah, so Dr. Muirhead was very decisive when I asked him if exercise causes dehydration. Absolutely not. Exercise actually encourages hydration, not the reverse. Dr. Murad says that's because exercise builds muscle, which is the ultimate compartment for holding water at a cellular level. When you build muscle, you become hydrated because muscle is 70% water, whereas fat is only 10% water. As you encourage more muscle, you become more hydrated, not less. Now I know when we do exercise, we become thirsty. That is just the elimination of toxins that's beginning to happen. And in a sense, you are slightly losing some water by perspiration. But at the same time, what you're doing is building muscle. So as you build more muscle, your body is actually more hydrated, not less. When you're more hydrated, you're able to perform better and be healthier. If you are thirsty, the best thing you can do is eat some raw fruit and vegetable. I like grapes, for example. Grapes are mostly water, but they have all kinds of phytonutrients, antioxidants, and they're good for you. So the result can be better. Almost the best thing you can do, other than eating properly, is doing more exercise to become more hydrated. Remember, exercising hydrates your body, even though you may be a little bit thirsty. Thirst isn't hydration, they're two different things. Dr. Murad is a big fan of building muscle through strength training because he says muscle is more metabolically active so it's burning fat hours after the exercise. He says aerobic exercise is also good but it mostly burns fats during the exercise. And Judy, what's the story about those paintings in the segment we just saw? Well, during his years of practice, Dr. Murad has composed several hundred sayings to help his patients adopt a healthier lifestyle. And he says the paintings are one way he deals with his stress. Ah, oh, makes sense. And I understand that 60 of his favorite paintings and sayings have been collected in a coffee table size book entitled Creating a Healthy Life. That's right, Brenda. He's quite an artist. Uh, I was recently at the de Young Museum in San Francisco and I saw an abstract painting that I thought for a minute was one of his. Mm. And I thought, wow, he's really a talented guy. Interesting.